Hey guys, we're going to start her up in just uh, three or four minutes here. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, for this class you are going to need a, a couple of light dumbbells as well as a heavy bag. If you don't have either one of those, you just have one or the other, uh, we'll be able to improvise some stuff. I'd say the dumbbells are probably a little bit more important than the bag. You're using those for most of the workouts. Uh, like I've said before, if you don't have any light dumbbells, this works just fine. A couple of milk jugs filled with water. It's not perfect, especially if your hands are really too big to get in the handle there, but uh, it certainly is better than nothing, and you could definitely do uh, most of this stuff in this class uh, with a couple of jugs of milk. Oh well, yeah, so we'll start up in a couple of minutes. Alright guys, so it's 2 o'clock. Uh, first off, welcome to the workout here. My name is Rich Stauffer. I'm a fitness instructor from CFB Edmonton. We're going to be doing a total body workout today. A um, couple things for you guys to remember. Uh, just make sure you got some water nearby. Um, I'm going to get you guys to, uh, if you want some music, play your own. There won't be any going on. Uh, I don't want to be competing uh, with uh, my, cat, my microphone, pardon me, be competing um, with, uh, with uh, you know, the music for my voice. Okay, uh, and also what you're gonna need for this class, like I mentioned earlier, is a couple of lighter dumbbells uh, or as well as a heavier bag. You can kind of get away without the heavier bag. Uh, it won't be quite as heavy as a workout without that, but uh, certainly doable. Um, but, uh, and like I said, if you have absolutely nothing, fill up a couple of milk jugs with water, you could potentially get most of the stuff uh, in this workout all taken care of, okay? Dim that down a little bit, so I'm not quite that halo going on. All right, so a uh, couple uh, quick little uh, thing I got to read here. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members by using social media platforms. A virtual fitness classes tailored to the Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces personnel. Recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference documents. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercise presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. 
If a calf member sustains an injury during this video, uh, please, guys, remember to fill out your CF-98s, if required. Okay, so we're going to get going in just a moment or two here. So, a uh, quick little overview of the class. Uh, this is a, once again, a total body circuit. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the ruck or heavy bag as well as a couple of lighter dumbbells. If you find your bag or dumbbells too easy or too light, you can feel free to increase or decrease or up to by 50%. So, for example, if I say we're doing sets of 10, you know, you can knock it down to 5 if your dumbbells are really heavy or bump it up to 15 kind of thing um, as, uh, as required. So that's definitely uh, still an option if you're like, oh my god, this workout's beating me up or my shoulders are gassing out. Uh, whatever, feel free to modify the reps. Obviously, it'd be ideal if you had a whole big dumbbell rack, you know, from uh, from 10 to uh, 100 pounds to do this stuff. But we're improvising here a little bit, so whatever you got, we're going to work with it. Uh, if it's too easy, make it a little bit more difficult. Ramp up the intensity a little bit. Ramp up the reps. If it's uh, too hard, um, then uh, feel free to go the other way with it. Still can be a good workout uh, either way. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of a warm up. Uh, generalized warm up, uh, and then we're going to do a circuit with the bag. Then we're going to do a couple of circuits with the dumbbells, and we're finally going to do a little bit of a cardiovascular circuit at the very end, uh, depending on you know how I manage my time here. Uh, and that'll be the class. Okay, so we're going to be doing a couple different circuits. So there's going to be rest built into each one. Uh, I'm not going to ask you guys to go all the way through without stopping or resting. So uh, we're going to be getting that going right away. But before we get going, we're going to start with that warm up, uh, as I've done for pretty much all my classes. We're going to start with the world's greatest stretch. Because it is a pretty darn good way to start, especially if you haven't been doing anything all day long, uh, it's a really good way to kind of open things up and hit a lot of the major uh, points in the body, make sure you're mobilized for all the stuff we're going to do in the class. We're going to start by squeezing glue to the back leg, push tips forward just like this right there. You're going to look over that forward leg just like that. So you're turning these shoulders. Then you take that forward hand up in the air. You're going to reach just like that. Exhale there. Hand goes up. Just like this right here, reaching down, then stretch from the front of the back leg, back to the front leg, hand goes up towards the ceiling, stacking those shoulders on top of each other, stacking those arms up, hand goes around the outside of the foot, toes come up, shove back in the hamstring stretch, or as always, you can drop back just like this as well. If that is not working, if this position, part of me, is not working for you. Okay, same thing on the other side, nice little exhale in each position, again, push that hip forward, feel that hip stretch first, then look over that forward leg, just like that. <sighs> Exhale there. Hand goes up in the air. Nice stretch all through here as you exhale. Both hands down. Nice stretch again for the back of the front leg, front of the back leg. Drop that elbow down if you need to to feel a little bit of uh, uh, more of a stretch. Hand goes up in the air. You're stacking those shoulders up. Hand goes around the outside of the foot. Toes come up. Shove back into that. Nice stretch from the back of the leg there. Awesome. Okay, then we're going to get into uh, the hamstrings. A little bit of groin here in a second. We're going to do the squat stretch. As with every single one of my classes, we're going to be doing a little bit of squatting. So we're going to practice keeping that chest relatively vertical. It doesn't be all the way upright. I don't want you falling on your butts or anything like that. And from here, we're going to grab the feet between the legs. Don't have to totally straighten those knees. That's fine as long as you're feeling the stretch in your hamstring more so than your back. We're okay. We're going to go back to that first position. Exhale there. Second position. Start position again. Up into that hamstring stretch. Roll up out of that. Good. Okay, so we're going to get into the shoulders a little bit now. We're going to do that YTWL drill. So again, we're going to make a Y shape and a T shape. W shape. And each time we get into that, we're going to make sure we're pulling from the shoulders here. Potentially a little bit of T-spine extension, but we're not simply just arching the back. It should be coming more from kind of the middle of the rib cage and up. Okay? So we're going to go up here, here, and then here. Really focusing on rotating like this as opposed to, again, arching the back too, too much or, um, uh, or uh, not doing that, I guess. Okay? So, three times in each position. One, two, three. Awesome. Good. 
Okay, next up we're going to do some stabilization. Uh, we are going to do a plank and we're going to do a little bit of a shoulder tap while we do that. Uh, just like always, the best thing with this one is to not rock the hips back and forth. So we've seen this before, so I'll just get you guys to start. Out the legs. Squeeze those glutes, lift those legs up. Good. And we're going to start the whole thing over again, starting with that world's greatest stretch. Make sure you guys have a little profile of that one for right now. Squeeze the glute, push hips forward, look over that forward leg. And stretch through here, look at the rotation through the spine. Head goes up in the air. Both hands down, back leg towards the wall behind you. Again, they stretch in the front of the back leg, back of the front leg. That hand up in the air. Goes around the other side of the foot. Toes come up. That'll get you guys to start on the next side. I'm just going to go do something real quick. Make it a little easier for you to hear me. All right, so I'll start. I'll catch up. Don't you worry. Squat stretch. Roll up out of that. Okay, more YTWL. Three times. We're going to Y, T, W, just like that. Planks. All right. Go ahead and mute my phone call I got going on. Good. Okay. So now what we're going to do is. Uh, we're we'll gonna do one more warm up movement, then we're gonna kind of get into a little bit of uh, general kind of warm just to get the sweat going a little bit, raise the body temperature. Uh, first, we're just gonna do a couple of dead bugs. We did these last couple of classes I've done. Okay, so you're gonna have the knees over top of the hips, hands more or less over top of the shoulders, abs are nice and tight, you're squeezing the low back so it stays in contact with the floor, opposite arm, opposite leg move. You'll notice I'm not bringing my foot all the way to the floor and I'm keeping my knees relatively bent. That can be a good way to make sure you're doing this one properly as opposed to going all the way to the floor but like arching your back here. That's defeating the purpose of the exercise. So by bending the knee, sometimes we can do this one just a little bit better. All right, good. Okay, so now we're going to go back to a nice general uh, kind of warm-up here. We're going to do three push-ups, three sit-ups, six squats, and three lunges each leg. And we're going to do that for two rounds. So on your own time, go ahead and bang that out. Hold your three sit-ups. I can do full sit-ups. Swinging my arms a little bit to get up. That's totally fine. The point of this what we're doing right here is to warm up, so I'm using as much of my body as possible to accomplish my goal, so that's just fine. That's my six squats, so I'll do my lunges. Awesome. Take a little breather, whatever you like. I'm starting to sweat already. So I'm gonna drink a drink of water here. Right back into the next round.
shoulder lunges. Finish it off. Good. Hopefully, like me, you are just a little bit warmed up. Starting to sweat a tiny little bit. That's a good thing. So we'll get started with our circuit relatively short. <clears throat> All right. So what we're going to do first, a little bit of surf with the heavy bag. Uh, you can certainly improvise these movements if you don't have a bag for something heavy in it. That's totally fine. You can use your dumbbells. Uh, obviously, it won't be quite as heavy depending on the weight of your dumbbells. But again, we're improvising a little bit. We can make do. It'll certainly be lots of work. The good thing about most of the movements that we do is part of the difficulty of them is moving your body, moving this through space. So it's important, uh, you know, even if you're like, oh, shoot, I don't have any equipment. Uh, oftentimes, doing the movements while not as challenging is using external load. Uh, even something as light as those milk jugs uh, will be useful. You'll still get sweating, you'll still get the heart rate up, it'll still be a good use of your time. So we're going to do a few rounds of this here. We're going to start with some step back lunges. We're going to keep that sandbag up nice and high on the chest. I've used this one, I think, in almost all the classes I've done. So nice and high up on the chest. We're going to keep the torso relatively vertical. If it dips forward a little bit, that's fine. As long as you're maintaining your uh, neutral spine, keeping that core brace. Really tough not to brace your core with that sandbag up in that position. Uh, definitely the erectors in the back will certainly be working. As long as you're staying uh, cognizant of what's going on up front here, um, you're probably doing a very good job of supporting that and staying uh, relatively vertical. Okay, uh, next thing we're gonna go is into a front squat, same body position, okay? Keeping the chest relatively vertical. Again, as we, as we squat, our chest dips a little bit, that's totally fine, but if we start doing this kind of thing, uh, that's where we gotta start thinking about maybe axing some of the reps off what I have here. Uh, I'm gonna start uh, by doing six of everything. If that's too easy, I'll up it the next round to eight. If that's too easy, I'll up it to 10. I might even go up to 12. So again, if you uh, uh, have a heavier bag, maybe you'll stick to the lighter range or you can just follow along with me and kind of if I do eight and you're like, yep, eight's my number, just keep on doing eight, okay? All right, uh, finally, uh, we are gonna do a bag floor to shoulder. So I did that one last time. You're just gonna scoop that bag up and lift it. So I'll just show you guys all the movements there um, all in a row here. We'll take uh, a minute or so and then we'll get right into the circuit. So the first one is that step back lunge, we're going to grab our bag, get that up nice and tall on the chest, and I'm going to do six total reps, or three per leg, from the side, just like that, okay? Chest stays up nice and tall, I'm going to do six of these guys, okay? That's my front squats, then the final movement, the bag to overhead, I'm just going to scoop that bag up. Keep my torso relatively vertical, low back stays nice and flat. You might have to squat down fairly low to get it, that's totally fine. Keep those feet flat on the ground and the back flat are the two things that are going to be toughest in this one. Um, but uh, if you manage to make that happen, you're probably doing this one fairly safely. Obviously still squeezing the core, but uh, uh, it'll definitely be important for this one. But I believe that you'll be able to get that done. So the floor bag overhead is like this. So that would be two reps right there. Okay, so that's all the reps with a couple of technique pointers. We're going to start up in just a moment here. Basically, as soon as I get my clock going, we're going to start. All right. All right, so we're going to start up here. Uh, first, start out with that three lunges per side. Six front squats. I'm picking up the sandbag. Three reps on each side. Whew, just like that. That took us about a minute, we're going to rest for a minute. Next round, I'm definitely going to go for eight reps. Those uh, threes went by fairly quickly. But a minute to rest. Well, 
my heart rate's fairly high already. I'll probably level out. Maybe could spend a little bit more time on my warm up. Probably would have jacked my heart rate up quite so much if I would have warmed up a little bit more. But you know, you guys only have so much time in this one hour block. <sighs> All right. Got about 10 seconds left. And this time I'm going to do four lunges per side for a total of eight. Eight front squats and four bag to shoulders on each side. Start this in three, two, one, go. This is a little better. Whew. Good job, guys. Take another minute. It's round two. Be a little ambitious here, pardon me. And I'm gonna go for 10 reps on my next one. Like I've always said, nice deep breaths. If you want to start into box breathing, certainly do so. Definitely help to uh, return that breathing and that heart rate to normal. got 10 seconds we're gonna get into that next round we need 10 reps and I'll probably stay there for the next round this is getting heavy oh, I forgot what my own workout was I'm so excited for those front squats burn I was looking for. Let's finish up. Whew. Ten reps there. Good job, guys. All right, that was six, eight, ten. I stick with ten. Hopefully, for the next round, maybe I'll bump it down for the last round. We'll see. Thirty seconds. deep breaths. Yeah, that sandbag pickup starting to light up the low back. No big deal. Just do a couple more squats. Even if they're body weight, if you have dumbbells, kind of lift those dumbbells up to your chest instead. That's totally fine. Five seconds left. Do the second last round. You know what? I'll go for 12. Right? Why wouldn't a guy? Do it. Six on each side. Whew. 
two more. And squat. Two more. Last one. Whew, short breather for me. I'm gonna pick up that bag. Guys, nice deep breaths. Slow down that breathing. Well done. Last round. We got three more circuits left to do. Whew. So I'm just doing sixes. Drop right back down to six for the last round. All right, guys, sit those lunges. Set bags up. Whew. Well done, guys. That's it for the sandbag. We're on dumbbells next. Two minutes. Pretty sweaty. We're only about 20 minutes in. 25. Next up, we're going to do a little dumbbell complex. I give you guys a range, 6 to 12 reps, just like the last one. And then we are going to, excuse me, repeat the whole thing three to five times, depending on how long it takes. Um, we are going to start us off with a hammer curl. So the goal of none of these. Oh, pardon me. I apologize. That's not the next one we're on. We're going to do some more full body movements first. First thing we're going to do is a dumbbell deadlift. So we're going to do close to Romanian deadlift. You don't need to get all the way to the floor. You'll notice, for me personally, when I do the dumbbell deadlift, a little tough to make it all the way to the floor. If I go down here, my back might round. So I'm just going to go until I feel myself get to mid-chin. Then I'm going to pick it up. Big difference between the RDL and the conventional deadlift is with deadlift and RDL, push hips back. When you get to this point, RDL, usually you come up. You can go a little lower depending on when you feel in your hamstrings. But for conventional, once we get past the knees, we're going to bend the knee, come back up, just like that. Still keeping the back nice and flat, just like any other deadlift. We're going to do, again, 6 to 12 reps of those. I am going to uh, start with my 6. Okay, So then I'm going to do a dumbbell clean. I'm going to do a hang clean, just from below the knees. Pop that up to my shoulders, the dumbbell rack position, just like this right here. 
not way arch in the back. Back stays relatively flat. And I'm just going to, it's like I'm doing that deadlift with a little bit of a jump. Feel free to get the toes, the ankles in on the action. If you're just kind of swinging up into a curl, probably okay as long as your weight's not crazy heavy. Okay? Then I'm going to do a push press like this. Okay, next thing is going to be a dumbbell lunge. I'm going to throw those dumbbells down on my side. Step back lunges last circuit. So I'm going to do forward lunges this time. Again, three per side. Then I'm going to do front squat with the dumbbells. Pardon me. Jump the gun. We're not doing thrusters. Not yet anyway. I'm going to grab my t-shirt here because I don't want to lose my damage deposit and angle my floor. So, keep that in mind. Just like how I'm trying to Avoid smashing my light bulb. Don't avoid, don't uh, wreck your floor out. All right, hope you've had some time to recover. We're gonna start out, and I apologize, I said six reps. I'm gonna do five of everything, okay? But that also means I'm doing five lunges per leg instead of just three and three. So that's gonna go up a little bit. Everything else is gonna be just five reps, okay? So we'll start with that deadlift. All right, guys, let's do it. Five reps. We're going all the way down. I think this will be five. All right, we're just going to do the clean. Miss this in the demo, but we're gonna do a push press. Use your legs, get that weight up there. If your dumbbells are too light, feel free to just do a strict press. That's fine. And we're lunging. Five reps on each side this time. Squats last. Whew. Whew. Same thing as last time, rest for one minute. Whew. Whew. Sorry about springing the uh, push press on you. I missed it, I was reading my list there. I could write everything down and I'll still forget it. All right, we got 40 seconds left. A rest. Twenty-five seconds. here. All right guys, just no time. Start out with those deadlifts. Again, try to keep that back nice and flat. As soon as we get the weight past the knees, that's when we start to really bend the knees. Before that, it's all about pushing the hips back, just like this. Go ahead guys, start her up. Five reps. Into the cleans. Again, a little bit of a jump up. Get those weights up. That's just fine. Awesome. Okay, now we're to the push press. Okay, we're lunging. Forward lunges. Halfway. All right. Next up, front squats. Last thing. Whew. Good job, guys. 
even with my 15s. Starting to get a little leg burn in there. Probably thanks to some of the work I did earlier with the back. But it's all the same workout and all builds. 50 seconds. This one at least two more times. Off a little towel here, spare you guys my midriff. Wiping off my sweat with something other than my shirt. 20 seconds of rest. Feel free to keep moving around. That minute of rest, you know what you got for rest. Take your breathing, take a little sip of water. Not too big, you don't be smashing the water too hard. Make yourself puke all over your nice floor. All right, we got about five seconds left. We're right back into those deadlifts, just fine. Unless, again, your dumbbells are too light, you want to go a little bit uh, longer for reps, that's totally fine. Okay, guys, right into those deadlifts. Here, one more. Good, and the cleans. Press is next. Make sure you get those elbows all the way straight to the top. Lunges next. Personally, lunges, that drives up my heart rate the most. And squats, just something to get through. Whew, just like that, this round's over. One minute of rest. Whoa, two more rounds. You know what, sorry, just one more round. I'm behind schedule, as per my usual. Behind schedule and having a hard time breathing. That's how you know it's one of my classes. All right, last round coming up. No time like the present, right? Deadlifts first, shoulders back, keep the back nice and flat, push hips back till you get the hands past the knees. Then you can bend the knees to get a little bit extra distance out of it. Another clean. No push press. My favorite, the lunch. Finish up with those squats. guys and that's it for that one moving on to the next one again I'm gonna go three to five rounds pay how it all times out I want to make sure I get you guys out of here until whatever it is you're doing after this in good time so this one we're gonna go with another range I'm gonna give you six to twelve reps again modify as you see fit so starting out with a, we're still in the dumbbells. Start out with the dumbbell hammer curl. Just like that. If you're like, hey Rich, I'm gonna trim my biceps, 
go right ahead, finish it off like this. Whatever you want. Six to 12 reps of that, okay? You can go right into six to 12 thrusters. So, if you're a big biceps guy, keep in mind, you're doing 12 curls, you're also doing 12 thrusters. So pay attention to that. Next up, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna grab my little shirt here. You have an extra t-shirt, towel, whatever. I'm gonna show you the exercise, give you a minute or two to grab the, what you need. If you're on a carpet, don't worry about it. If you're on a wood floor like me, I'm not trying to scratch up my floor, so I've just got a little towel down there, okay? What I need to do is I'm gonna start out with this dumbbell on the towel right there. I'm gonna reach across my body and just change where it is in space, okay? Um, big thing with that one, just like the plank shoulder tap, you want to make sure that you're not shifting your hips to each side as you do that. You want to make sure that uh, you are effectively bracing your core. You're not piking with your butt, anything like that. You're doing an effective job of stabilizing. Because that's the whole point. I don't want you to just slide a dumbbell back and forth for no reason, okay? All right. So I'll give you a minute or two to grab yourself a towel, maybe less than a minute, and we will get started with those curls. Again, feel free to rotate those palms up if you want to hit those biceps a little bit. All right, guys. So, start out with those curls. Now we're going to do, we're going to start with eight for everything. Eight reps. Two more. Don't be in a big rush to lower those, but I don't need you counting for uh, anything either. Okay, thrusters. If I got to do eight curls, I have to do eight thrusters. Watching them for my light. Halfway there. side, get myself set up on my plank, I'm going to do four per side. Whew. Those were tougher than I thought they'd be. Like for me, I get a little break. One minute. seconds and we'll hit that next circuit or next round I should say let's do it guys I'm gonna stick with eight reps that felt about right Gassing my shoulders out a little bit more than I anticipated. That's all right. Finish up with that plank. Two 
more. Whew. I practiced that one a little bit more. That's a lot of work. I'm into rest. guys all right another round of this one grab those dumbbells and like I said we get to do our curls but we got to do those thrusters Get that dumbbell drag going. Try not to shift those hips too much. A little bit of movement. It's not the end of the world, but you shouldn't be doing this to make that thing move. Whew. Was that eight? Felt like eight. Whew. You know what? We'll go one more round. I'll move on to the next thing. Make sure to keep those glutes squeezed during that dumbbell drag. Whew. Next round, I'm just doing six reps of everything, but I'm going to try to do them nice and slow. I rush through those plank dumbbell drags a little bit. Maybe I'm not so good at those ones. So what I'm going to do, I slow it right down. And I'm going to do two less reps, see if I can get my quality up just a little bit. I encourage you to do the same, or if you're a superstar, keep your reps nice and high. So I'll start off with some nice, slow dumbbell curls. is next. Just six, but I'm slowing it down a little bit. dumbbell drag over with, shall we? Whew, that is the end of that. So, we're still on the dumbbells. We're just going to change up the format for this next uh, sir. So this next one, we're gonna go for uh, maybe not quite 10 minutes. Maybe a little six minutes, as many rounds as we can through this circuit. I'm gonna show it to you, then we're gonna get into it right away. I grab my mat just because I'm on wood floor. I don't want to damage my floor. If you got a towel, you can put down that towel you're using for the towel drag. Or, again, if you got a mat carpet, you're totally fine. Okay, so we're going to start out with a dumbbell burpee. What that's going to look like 
is you're going to start up standing. You're going to do just like we did for the deadlift. Then you're going to bring the burpee down to the floor, just like this. Push up, and you're going to deadlift it up. Okay? That is our dumbbell burpee. Okay? Then we're going to do a dumbbell deadlift, just like we did before. Okay? And then a row, both sides. Just like that. For reps for this, we're going to do six burpees, eight deadlifts, ten rows. Quick little cues for both of those. For the burpee, just make sure you keep those dumbbells nice and close to your toes until you get down to the floor, then make sure to watch out for your toes. You want you guys slamming the dumbbells into your toes. On the way down for the deadlift, just like for the burpee, back stays nice and flat. Same cue for the row, keep the back at more or less this angle. Try not to start down here and then gradually as you row, you end up doing some kind of T-Rex thing at the top. Not enough right row, it's bent over row. Okay? All right, so six reps, burpee, eight reps deadlifts, 10 reps row, as many rounds as possible until we get to, uh, what do we got, 255, okay? So that's the next six minutes. We start that off in three, two, one, go. Pick up my dumbbells, start her up. Make sure as you jump back into that deadlift, get those legs underneath you, flatten that back. I always find a hard time counting burpees. I think that's six. Okay, now the deadlift. Now the row. Myself a short breather, took about a minute. Be right back into the next round. Let's do it. It's one, it's two, Three deep breaths, then I'm into the deadlifts. And the row. Again, that row, relatively horizontal, back position, trying to roll up like this. Set mine down. Three breaths. We've got three and a half minutes left. All right, short breaks. Let's get those burpees going. If you're not already on them, let's do it. Let's do next. A couple deep breaths. Let's get that row going. We're halfway there. Set the dumbbells down for a sec.
I'm slowing down doesn't mean you have to. Last minute and a half. Let's roll. Guys, just about one minute left. We'll do one more round. And we're all done. Well, I'm gonna go for one more round. But I'm running out of time, and so are you. There's 25 seconds left, guys. Rose left. Turn that breathing to close to normal. Stretch it out on the bare floor here. All right, so got about four minutes left. Fairly quick cool down here. You have to be a little quick with it. That's okay. Still definitely worthwhile to lower that heart rate. But unless you go drop it on the floor in a pile, you're probably gonna be doing a little bit of moving around before you wrap up your workout. Probably add a little bit to your cool down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up. Starting with a nice little right leg behind the left leg. Just like this right here, should feel a nice stretch there. If you want to, kick that foot out, drop that elbow down. Should feel a nice stretch in the front of the hip. Maybe even a slight stretch in the front of this, or back of this hamstring, back of this leg, and that front leg. A little bit of a stretch there. Same thing on the other side. like me you're gonna have to mop your sweaty floor up after this we're gonna go back to the first side and we're continuing to kind of loosen those hips up. A little trick we're going to do here. We're just going to try to lift up that heel a little bit. Like me, maybe you won't get much out of it. That's okay. Just trying to get that thing up off the floor. Here you go, five reps. Kind of switch to the other side. Same idea. 
might take a little bit of brain power, not often. And flex this muscle at this angle in this position. So if like me, you're just able to offload that foot, that's okay. Five good reps there, still help loosen up those hips. See if we can get some normal function going. What we're also gonna do is we're gonna return to that dead bug. We did it right off the hop, abs are nice and tight first. Knees above the uh, hips there, hands above the shoulders. Opposite heel touches the floor, opposite hand goes back. Try to get those hands back and the heels to tap at the same time. Again, sometimes by keeping the knee bent, we can make sure we're doing this one correctly. Okay. Then go back into my old favorite standby. Get our world's greatest stretch going. Squeeze glute, hips forward, goes up. Palm up to the ceiling, really reach there. Stack the shoulders. Just like that. squat stretch here. But this time we're just going to stay in that squat stretch. Just shift around to the sides. Get a little bit of that ankle there. And we're going to get in that hamstring. The squat. Hamstring. Squat. Hamstring. Roll up out of that. Okay. It uh, looks like we're in a belt. Uh, three o'clock, so we'll have to call that good. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, something to feel right doing in class, anything like that, uh, Kristen will be on the Facebook page answering questions for the next 10-15 minutes. Uh, once again, thanks for coming out here, and at the very least, watching me sweat all over my house. I do appreciate you guys tuning in, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks.